Okay. Hi everyone, another fine day, another wonderful day, another beautiful day in the an exciting an, an exciting segment. When you hear me, I start blah blah blah. I study. <laughs> no, it's because I'm excited. I'm happy uh to talk to someone, someone I've known for some time now, uh someone I've been working with for some time now. In the not enough fine, like when you guys are working in the you see the progress, you see the consistency, you are learning, you're benefiting in, in all of that. Um, difficult to have him uh, because right now he's, he's, he, he's wanted everywhere. But at the end of the day, uh, they say relationship uh, is one of the best things. Uh, any person, most of the success people I've met, that is the one thing, the value. So when I reach out to him and I, hey boss, I feel like you need to come on to really and give us that push that you usually give us. He was like, okay, you know what, give me a time. Give me a date, give me a time and a place, and we'll meet. Welcome to Dorito, boss. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> boss Rafael Gini. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to start, but uh, again, <laughs> we want to thank you for what you're doing for the community, especially. Um, you came in here, met someone, gave you an award, and was telling you, oh, I follow you. Uh, we like what you're doing for the community, not just our media community. And like you always tell me, uh, you always say, Toride, um, many people are missing this whole community idea. They feel like your community is just you and your village people and your, no, it is bigger than we think and we should be working towards uh, that. How does it feel to walk into a place like this and then you meet someone who is actually just celebrating you? Uh, I mean, I, I, I believe, um, uh, I, I believe sometimes when people see you and um, remind you that they have been following you, you impact them even from distance. I think it gives you a push, give you encourage you. And mm -hmm. I think it's also a fuel for the dark days because mm -hmm. life is like a mountain. Yeah. You know, you, you, you reach the point. Sometimes you reach that area where you are drying when there's not much energy mm -hmm. and you can only keep going because oh. of those type of people. So <laughs> it's a great feeling. Yeah, it's actually a good feeling. And you you I like the way you put it. Um you're big with motivating people, you're big with teaching people, you're big with uh reminding people we have to keep going. And that is the one thing I quote you, I quote you most of the time. Oh, Coach Rafael will say this, Coach Rafael, and they're like, I'm like, yeah, that is how much impact he has not only on me, but on our community. Mm -hmm. um today we're gonna do more of videos uh because for me i just wanted to uh, personally for me this 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 segment is more of a personal thing i just wanted to sit down with you and just review my years with you where we started how it's going and uh, probably we talk a little bit about the future okay. um yeah so uh, i think now it's like five six seven years yeah what would you say about <laughs> what, would, what would you say about to really personally <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I was telling you that I, I was sharing with you early today. Uh, I, I, I see the consistency, um, the discipline. You know, I always tell people, don't despite a small beginning yeah. and don't compare yourself um, with others, yeah. but compare yourself with your best version. Yeah. And how do you do that? You, you have to always do better than what you did yesterday yeah and um uh, and and i see you you know i, I watch you try to use you know you 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 still with pastor you still with community leader you, you are there to help and uh you walk late <laughs> <laughs> last uh i think that was last month uh, you know we 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 had a short you know very very short project i call you and you know you was there and then you, you, you record a clip, you follow the artists, and here and then. So, you, you know, I, so I, I'm not I'm not surprised with uh, with what I'm seeing today. Um, is success always is success is predictable? Mm -hmm. You know, when people can develop certain level of discipline. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, you can you you can prophesy. Mm -hmm. You can even use the word of knowledge to see that hey, the way this person is it's going, going. Uh, it's gonna something is gonna come out of 
out of it. Uh, and if you remember, I, I mean, I, I shared this with you, I mean, five, six, seven years back. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not shocked and I'm not surprised here. And this is only 1% of what you is actually going to be. <laughs> Boss, you're going to kill me like... <laughs> Sometimes yeah. when you call me and we are talking and you're telling me about where you see the reading. Uh, now, I know I had a dream. I know I had my plans. I had everything written down. Yes. But when I met you, uh, you gave it, you, 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 you gave uh, everything, the project, the vision, a different view. Yes. Uh, it, it's easy for you to just say, okay, this is what I feel like I want to do. This is what I want to run with. But then to meet someone who is ready to invest uh, who's ready to guide you, who's ready to talk to you, who's ready to not only uh, do those things, but go on and do research and then call you and then say, hey, uh, Toride, uh, I know this is what you're trying to do and this and this, but guess what? Don't you think we can do this and do this? And you do, you just do that. Like sometimes I see like, and you don't only end at that doing the research and all of that. Sometimes uh, we'll schedule a project. We're working on something. Either we're supposed to record a video and then I'll get there and then I meet new cameras, new head, new um, uh, microphones, and new, and you're like, okay, you know what? We are, we are past that stage. This is what you'll be using right now. And I'm, and I'm like, if this particular person is actually still paying me for every work that I'm doing, yet investing this much in what I am doing, then they see quality, then they see potential, then they see it tomorrow. So Nasako, you have to push and push and push before we continue please let me kind of like share the link i know a few people are waiting for the link already um and for those who are watching already here yeah, you have um, uh, my boss rafael Gini. uh those who know me know i mention him all the time those who know to um must have seen him on to so many times to the extent at one point in time i was like you know what nasa could slow down a little bit <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah don't make don't make him uh, by the way he actually told he one time he told me Toride is not Rafael Gini. There is Toride and there's Rafael Gini. You can give me my place, but guess what? You have to make sure it's Toride. It's a community platform. It's showcasing everyone. And uh, that is one beautiful thing uh, about people like him. For those who are watching, go ahead and share the video. Uh, go ahead and let me share also. And uh, remember, uh, this is more of um, a come together. We just want to talk. We just want to talk about our community, the beautiful things that are happening. Uh, the way forward, what we can do. It's 2023, it's December, it's late December. And you should start thinking about 2024 already, what you plan to do. Um, I know most people already have their plans, but guess what? I think um, the conversation today uh, will guide you, will point you to where you're supposed to go for 2024. Uh, the conversation will inspire you. That is the best thing about him. Uh, that is the one reason why it doesn't matter what time when he calls, I just speak mm -hmm. my stuff. <laughs> Because I know beside the work, I'm going to learn a thing or two. So that is what we're trying to do today. Have these conversations uh, that can help us grow as a community. Go ahead and share the video. Um, let us do this really quick. Uh, let us do this really quick. And then we can continue. Boss, uh, let me just ask you a question while I'm sharing. So um, 2023, a little bit of how has it been for you? And that was a great, great year. You know, John C. Maxwell always say you either learn or you, you win or you learn. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, first of all, we thank God. Uh, we thank God for his grace, his protection. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, it, it was a great year. And, and we believe that 2024 will be even better than 2023. So. Oh. I was going to ask you, our community, you've been here for some time now. Um, how, what, what do you think? Is there any progress you've noticed? Is there like, what do you think about the community as a whole? Uh, I, I think there's a lot of progress in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is that, I mean, people, the the, the spirit of togetherness, uh, togetherness uh, yeah. is actually, um, you know, it's, it's way more than before. Mm -hmm. um, the you know, one of the thing you notice when you, one of the sign you can use to see if the community is fall apart or is coming together is if they are losing their worship or not. Mm -hmm. And one of the thing I notice in our community is that 
so many leaders uh, like Pastor Mark mm-hmm. and other community leaders. Mm-hmm. They actually um, they, they actually make a way to mm-hmm. so many ministers minister mm-hmm. in our community. Yes. So if you see three, four, five churches, you'll find one on the African church, mm-hmm. which is a good sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have less nightclub mm-hmm. and more churches. Um, and, and I think that's something very positive for our community. Uh, today, we have um, uh, a lot of businessmen that yeah. are actually rise up yeah. and, and even sharing the knowledge with others. Yeah. So they are very, very good thing for the community. So uh, I believe, um, you know, uh, if a family are seeking God, if a today instead of doing nine, nine to five, we are trying to create a job. We are participating in a growth of America. Mm-hmm. We are not just here to consume. <clears throat> so we are bringing something on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a positive sign for the community. Wow. So the Dallas community is, I believe is doing well. <laughs> well, I I think so too. Especially like you said, with the with with the rise of uh, leaders like you, who don't only want to do for themselves and their family, their immediate family, but for everyone, and they are not just doing that; they are teaching others, they are holding people's hands, they are guiding people, they are supporting, and and all of that. And I I remember very well when we met. That was one of the first thing you insisted on. Hey, uh, I think you told me, I'm not looking for a talented person. I'm looking for a community-oriented person. I'm looking for someone who is not only ready to do for them, but also ready to do for the community. I I learned a lot from that. And that was how I realized, you know what? It's not supposed to be about you all the time. Go out mm-hmm. there and share. Now, um, we have a few videos I probably have to play uh, because uh, we'll just play these videos and then maybe you talk over the videos and then or I'll ask you questions. Uh, let me see where to start. By the way, before we go to that, we've seen you with so many people. You've invited so many people. So many people have come here to visit you. I don't even know how to put it. You invite the come here to visit you for business and all of that. And mega names, big names, so very, very big names. Uh, why do you, because you have everything already. So many people feel like you're wealthy. You have all these. You can just stay in your corner, in your ranch, your and, and then just make the money you can make, enjoy your family, and just sit quiet. But then why do you feel like it's necessary for you uh, to still reach out or bring these people in when they want to meet you? Uh, I, I believe as the African, uh, we we have to use everything we have to build our continent. Mm-hmm. And um, um, I, I think you mentioned this early mm-hmm. uh, when we was uh, talking. Mm-hmm. Life is all about relationship. Yeah. Um, and then as a leader also, you have to learn from others. You know, you have to learn from others. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have to learn, unlearn and relearn. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, I learn. I learn every day. Sometimes it's just to spend time together and and, and then learn. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it's also to share uh, also with others. So, uh like, 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 I, like, like, like we said early, life is all about relationship. Um, sometimes some people can save you 20 years of hard work. Uh, so today, uh, we, we, you know, my, my work actually forced me to really, really develop the relationship, particularly, you know, in an African continent and also in America. So um, that's why... Uh, there's a, there's a lot today we are walking hand in hand with a lot of leader leader in various industry and that can be music uh, a politician in other area of business okay so what we'll do right now is I'll play a few videos uh, I'm going to play them random because I don't have them in order and then you just okay. tell us what was actually happening um, let us start with this video I think you can see it over there. Okay. Yes, this is uh, one of uh, mm-hmm. Sai in Forning. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's actually, I think, two, 
278 acre. That was our first project in Forney. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, our first large project. It's not the biggest one now. Mm -hmm. uh, in Forney, uh, this was um, the first uh, community we actually developed. Mm -hmm. uh, 278 acre. Um, I think this day we was actually walking around with different owner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, the different owner, so that's a funny site. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I would say probably funny for those that are not here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about it's actually on the uh, Dallas County limit because part of that is in Dallas actually, and then the other part is in Kaufman County. So for those who probably don't understand what you're talking about, our site. Uh, mm -hmm. What what do you mean? Oh, it's a small community. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, there um, it's a site of 278 acre mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we actually uh, all the resident. I mean, 98 percent of the resident are African. Wow. Yep. Uh, remember, we always push. Uh, you know, we we, we always strive to have a community where our children are going to be safe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, we're not against uh, anything. I know we, we we're on TV, but mm -hmm. we have our own value that we want to keep. Um, I saw on the media this morning. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, the Vatican was gonna bless the, mm -hmm. the same sex marriage. Mm -hmm. So all these things actually called us to protect our own. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to make sure we have a safe place for our children. We have to make sure. We keep the value and pass down those mm -hmm. value to our children. So, in order to do that, sometime I mean, we have to do what other community are doing. You mm -hmm. know, today you can see Chinese that gather together. Mm -hmm. Even in New York, you have Chinese Chinatown mm -hmm. here in Texas, um, in North Dallas. You have an Indian community. Mm -hmm. You know, they put their God at the entrance. They have their God in the community. So they keep their God when they believe. They keep the value. Um, so, and I say, well, we have to start by continuing to stay together, yeah. uh, stay together, keep our children together. You remember how we all grew up in, in Africa, Africa. Yeah. you know, your, your father was not the only one to discipline you. Yeah. So when you see your neighbor, if you are doing something wrong, wrong. you, I mean, you will stop just by seeing him. But today... Uh, our children, you know, they are left on their own. Uh, we go to work, give them to the teacher, and that will train them however they want to train, or give them to the new disciple maker, which is the TV. Wow. And the TV will also train them. And uh, at the end of the day, we don't, you know, we have a stranger in a home. So I believe um, by stay together, uh, it can help us. You can save, save. Uh, you can help us to really, really pass down those values. <clears throat> so the 278 um, acre mm -hmm. uh, that was our first major project. Mm -hmm. um, we launched a few other, you know, in other area also. Yeah. I think we have a next video. Um, there should be a video of uh, a visiting team or so. Okay. This uh, this visit was actually the the delegation from the Foreign Affair in Congo, mm -hmm. uh, the Secretary General and uh, of Foreign Affair in Congo actually sent the, the team mm -hmm. uh, to come, you know, to come and uh, tour some of our property mm -hmm. uh, because we have a small agreement mm -hmm. uh, with the. Congolese businessmen that are coming to the United States. Okay. Um, those that invest in some of our property. Mm -hmm. uh, so they actually help to uh, uh, help those businessmen facilitate the program mm -hmm. from Congo. Yes. So they came actually to see what we are doing mm -hmm. and all that. So, so actually sent by their government? Yes. That was the foreign affair. Do we have African countries whose leaders really care what their citizens are doing that much? Of course. Africa is not only Cameroon. <laughs>
Yeah, matter of fact, uh, we actually walk hand to hand now. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I'm sure you, uh, uh, after that, they even offer, you know, for for me with what I was doing with the community and all that, mm -hmm. uh, to actually represent mm -hmm. the nation here in Texas. So with my everything I'm doing, it was very, very, very hard to to do that. I'm, but I'm still thinking about it. Uh, to it, represent it's... the nation of Congo, yes, Do I, I feel like I feel like that is concert. one problem we have in our community. Mm -hmm. We have quality people, but sometimes I feel like they are not really exploited. Because if Congo can feel like you know what, hey, for what you're doing, for what we see you want to do, for what we think you can do, mm -hmm. just you know what, just take us, run with us. We don't mm -hmm. see that happening in our community. It's really difficult. Is it because of the Le prophet ne, the prophet is never known or recognized in their home. That could be one of the reasons. Um, and also, you, you know, and, and I think Bob Practo actually explained this better. Mm -hmm. we, we, have, um, we have what we, we call uh, in, um, uh, um, in, um, in French, les pensées limitantes. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you leave Cameroon, for example, yeah. and then you get here. First of all, if you are looking for food, what are you going to be looking for? Cameroon, I shoe yeah. or that, because that's what you know. So, sometime, even when we grow, mm -hmm. even when we change, mm -hmm. even when we acquire certain knowledge that can actually help our community, mm -hmm. others just look at us as the son of the carpenter, they will still remind you that, oh, I, I know your sister. I know, <laughs> I know, I know this, I know that. My mom was, I was talking with my mom, I think that was yesterday. She, she you know, she would, she would tell me that, do you know that the time you have your first car, when I was in, I didn't, I thought I didn't you were going to kill me. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, it took me a long time to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. in the car with you. I say, I asked her, why, mom? She said, I don't know, but I, I never see you like a driver. I say, I understand. Let me, let me tell you why. It's because you still see that baby. Yeah. That baby that they present to you at the hospital one day and he stretched himself and cried. You never wow. knew that. Now, this was actually, I, I think, this was in Cameroon. I was maybe 21. Mm -hmm. You didn't see a 21 years old man that left your hand and go through the 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 the, the groom process mm -hmm. and acquire the necessary knowledge to operate the car. And that's how we see our people. We see our people uh, sometimes from the wars. Mm -hmm. we don't believe it we don't believe it because it's easy to look backward mm -hmm. than looking forward. forward whatever you already experience that seems like your reality mm -hmm. that's why in life you know God I mean God talks so much about faith mm -hmm. when you start talking about faith you talk about the future mm -hmm. Could you see mm -hmm. the untouched yeah. and believe and actually walk in? And we are all people of faith. Yeah. But it's so easy to refer back to our experience. That's why so many people are stuck. Because if you know, if you tell them, man, you can do this, they'll say, No, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they refer with their past. Yeah. When there was five years, when there was 10 years, when they didn't have experience, mm -hmm. when they were still, uh, uh, um, you know, when, when they were still small. So wow. instead of looking for, we balance ourselves with the past or the present, which have nothing to do with our future. I think I want to ask you questions about what we can do as a community to continue, but let's let's go to this other video, mm -hmm. uh, which was really huge. Um, so many people, so many people were like, okay, uh, this is another level. Uh, what is happening? And 
I think we see you, we see uh I, I'm not sure. Everyone should recognize that person, man. Mm-hmm. That's Kofi Olomide, the legendary Kofi Olomide. Uh picked him up at the airport. Uh uh we were opportunity. I was opportunity the first time in my many years, someone I grew up watching in I was close to him, not only close to him, worked with him, uh, had conversations with him. Uh, prob- I, I, I will say this because of you, because of the person uh, he came to visit, because of the person he, he came to the United States, States for, uh, especially when someone like that, someone of that magnitude comes to the United States and then they see this person that they look up to, this person that I have so much respect for, but then they see that person treating the next person like their king. The way you respect me, the way you would you would trust me with certain things, I feel like that was that was one of the reasons why even he himself was like, okay, I have to be very careful with this guy. There's something about this guy that this this person knows that I don't know. Uh, however, just tell us about um, the relationship with uh, Kofi. Uh, actually, Kofi he's a very good friend. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we you know I spent a lot of time in Congo. Mm-hmm. Um, we was talking and I, and I told him, man, why don't you, you know, you can buy a house in the United States and you have 30 years to pay. Mm-hmm. So he said, are, are you kidding me? I said, no, you can actually purchase a house. He said, no, I don't have a social security number. Mm-hmm. I say, I mean, bank will ask you for social security number mm-hmm. because they're the one that give you a loan. So mm-hmm. if I'm the one that is give you a loan, mm-hmm. I know you are Kofi, you can pay me. Mm-hmm. So... You can actually own. He said, oh, no, are you killing? I said, no, I'm not killing. He was going, I mean, we was actually traveling. He was going to Perry for a show. Mm-hmm. He said, you know what? I meet you in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And after my, my show in Paris, that was maybe after four days. I said, yeah. okay, fine. And the next thing he's taught me, Ralph, I've been in Dallas. <laughs> he gave me a day. <laughs> so he actually came in. I don't know. He even put a video of his home yeah. on TV. Uh, on social media. Social media. Yeah. So he came and he actually uh, mm-hmm. purchased a beautiful home uh, from from me. Um, he had thirty years to pay. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said, "Man, this is this is this is just great." Mm-hmm. Now I have a place where I can come and just Vacation. settle with my team. Mm-hmm. We go into a studio, have our program mm-hmm. without paying twelve hundred dollars a night at a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, so so he he was so so happy. And then they treat you so bad and give you yeah. bad food. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot eat. That. And 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 yeah. I think that was the other thing, um, boss. I want you to talk to talk to our people. The reason mm-hmm. why, especially for those who are back home, who have mm-hmm. uh, a, a little bit of the resources, why it's important for them to purchase a home here and what they can actually do. Um, because some of them feel like, oh, I don't spend too much time there. I go there, I spend two weeks, and I leave. What then will I do with the house or with the home? Uh, I want you to talk to them. Uh, the reason why it's it's not only important to get a property here, uh, but what you can actually do if you're not staying here for eight months or one year. Yeah, I mean, I, I t- you know, I always le- I always love to learn from Chinese mm-hmm. because you know China, we help China. I think that was 25 or 30 years ago. Oh, yeah. Today, they're the, they're the number one yeah. by all means. Mm-hmm. I live in a house that was owned by a Chinese China. guy. Wow. I never, ever, ever see that Chinese person. Wow. But I was sending, I was depositing money in a bank account mm-hmm. every month, every month. Wow. They just changed the manager. Mm-hmm. You know, when I first moved moved here in Dallas, I would mm-hmm. live in to the Chinese guy house, mm-hmm. guy in China. Mm-hmm. So he actually purchased the house. I guess they was paying probably twelve hundred dollar mortgage, mm-hmm. but I was paying sixteen hundred dollar for the house. Wow. Yeah. To a guy in China, so I believe you don't have to be so smart. Mm-hmm. To see what's working and what is not working. Mm-hmm. This guy was in China, mm-hmm. and I was—he was net almost four hundred dollars from me every month. Wow! So he has a mortgage. Mm-hmm. He took the loan to buy a house. Mm-hmm. The mortgage, his monthly payment was twelve hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. He rented the house to me mm-hmm. for sixteen hundred dollars, 
and was catch at four hundred dollar from China. China. From China. Imagine. I don't know how many property the guy owned. Maybe ten, maybe twenty. Yeah. So I from that, I have my one of my uh, disciple of. Uh, uh, co-worker, Coach Guy. Mm-hmm. He traveled here all the time. I told him, Coach Guy, I shared the same story with him. Yeah. I said, you're in Ireland. You can buy a house in Cameroon. He has a building in Cameroon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's six storage or how many storage. Mm-hmm. Even to collect, it's, uh, people pay 100000 so $200 a month. Yeah. But you get the money. And if- that's of, over $300 million of investment. Wow. I said, why do that? So he purchased a house here in Dallas now. Wow. When he's here, he's in his house. When he's not here, he put somebody else in the house. Wow. Um, w- 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 it's, it, it's okay if you don't know. Yeah. But when you stay that way, mm-hmm. it's not good. I believe we have to copy. We don't mm-hmm. have to reinvent. Yeah. We have to just look around and say, okay, how these guys are doing? doing. How the Indians are doing? Yeah. How the Chinese are doing? And also look at around our own community and say, how some of these people that actually felt so bad yeah. were doing? And stop doing that. Somebody say, if you want to be successful, you can learn from two people. You can learn from people that are actually are what you, are, you don't want to be. Mm-hmm. Or learn from somebody that you want to, to be, be like him. But make sure you're learning. But make sure you're learning. <laughs> so if I see you, mm-hmm. and I don't want to be like you, I must wash. Yeah. You wake up in the morning and go to the bar and drink. I will not do that. And dance to, to, <laughs> to the next day. <laughs> I must stop drinking. Wow. I must stop going to the club. Look. Just that alone may alarm me and bounce me away to from To a you. better direction, yeah. Yes. Or I may look at a successful person wow. and start apply and do exactly what a successful person is doing. doing. Maybe you are waking up in the morning, you at work on time. Mm-hmm. You are not staying up late watching TV. Mm-hmm. You are not at the club. Mm-hmm. You are not drinking. You are going to the farm early mm-hmm. and really walk. Sometimes I say it's just as simple as that. It's, it's easy to be successful. Very, very easy. Boss, you think so? <laughs> I, no, I think it's so easy. Very easy. Is that the reason why it's it's easy to see people who were millionaires, they lost everything, they rise up again and become millionaires and lose everything and rise? Because it's difficult. Of course. Wow. Of course. You can lose everything and then you're going to have again. Because... It's just like right. a it's just like a great farm it's just like a great farmer. Mm-hmm. If you take a great farmer yeah. from Cameroon to uh, Nigeria, mm-hmm. do you think the person can be successful? Uh, yes. Yeah. That's true. If the, you take the same guy to the United States, yeah. they will be successful. successful. That's true. If you take the same guy to Paris, they will yeah. be successful. I think That's why the ego yeah. from Cameroon to the United States is still an ego. Yeah. That's, from the that's United true. States to Cameroon, it's still an ego. They're not going to change yeah. because of the environment. That's true. So that have to do with the way we do things. things. That's it. I think that's why Jesus said, uh, if I can make it here, I can make it anyway. Yes. Wow. Yes. Boss, uh, this video... Man, it, it's, uh, when when this video happened, like while uh, you guys were talking, and I saw people who came for a project, but most of them pulled out their cameras, and they were more like <laughs> I would, I, would, I don't want to say it in a bad way, <laughs> recording. And um, this is actually Canton. Um, that is your property, and um, I think these people came from most of them came from Congo, but all over Africa, all over the United States. Yeah. That was close to, and this were the few who went to the to to, to this location. Yeah. We had other people who came in late. We had other people who decided, no, I wanted to stay in my hotel. In the, um, I mean, this, mm-hmm. this these are people that trust me mm-hmm. uh, either to build their home or they purchase a home from me. Mm-hmm. 
matter of fact, half of them live out of the country. <laughs> uh, and whatever they are here in the United States, I always bring them home so we can eat together <laughs> and uh, just share the moment together. Because, uh, like, like I say, I don't think I have a job. I don't think I work. <laughs> For, to me, to me, this is life. This is this is normal life. So, yeah. uh, we was actually in Canton, um, uh, and it's always a a pleasure to serve. You know these people, and mm-hmm. um, I, I always pray and say, God, make sure I die empty. You know everything I can give, and everything I can give to make another person better. Uh, let me do it, um, mm-hmm. and. Um, and normally it's, it's a very, very, very emotional moment because uh, mm-hmm. for a lot of them, it's their first time in the United States mm-hmm. uh, because we go through, the, we do the whole process. Mm-hmm. You know, most of our clients, we walk at the visa process also. And so we literally hold their hand from Africa mm-hmm. all the way to maybe even the t- we take them back to, to, to Africa. So it's a very, it was a very, very emotional um, um, spend the time with them. I think we visit the. That's, I think this that one was uh, the second. We visit also a few property. Yeah. That they, I think was here in um, in Suffer Spring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Suffer Spring. Um, it, it's it, it's a it's a. Boss, just Emma, um, take us a little bit through what they actually come to do, because maybe those who are watching, for those who are watching, by the way. I thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, go ahead and uh, drop us a comment. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and leave us a comment. Um, uh, uh, please don't forget to share the video. This is why we we we, we have to read it. This is why uh, we invest a lot of time in what we are doing because we want to educate our community. Uh, it is obvious from everything he has been saying, it's about the mindset. It's about the mindset until we change that mindset. And how do we change that mindset? We change that mindset with information. Uh, and this is the information, one, or part of the information he's actually sharing. Uh, now, you are you watching. Why don't you just share the video so some other persons can get also to learn? We need to grow. We need to grow. We need to get our community to a place where when we exit, we are sure about what our kids would enjoy. We don't want to live in a, in a place where, oh, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, maybe they should go back to Africa. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, we can actually come together put resources, everything, money, brain, and everything, build our own small communities, and then it would just be better for everyone. I want you, boss, I want you to go ahead and uh, talk to your people, like, kind of, like, explain what is actually happening, why these people were here. Uh, uh, this, uh, these people actually, I mean, what you just see on the video, I don't know if you're sharing, sharing the video. Yeah. We're actually there with the builder, mm-hmm. and um, that, that's another thing when I moved here, you mm-hmm. know, in, in Georgia, mm-hmm. I knew that if you want to buy a house, Go see one house out there and buy. Mm-hmm. You know, I, and I, was, I always ask, ask myself, why people, why you can't build your own home? Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know that you can build your own home in America. Oh. And and then when I found out that, that actually it take less than the the small land we purchased to build a home, it costs less than five thousand dollars. Wow, five thousand dollars. Every small plot you see here in in the city. It costs less than five thousand dollars. Now to build a, a house that is actually on the market here in the city mm-hmm. for two hundred thousand dollars. Do you want to hear? Do you know how much it costs to build? No, less than hundred thousand dollars. So for less than for what people use actually for down payment, mm-hmm. they can actually build a home with it. Yeah. Own. So that's the same home. We jump in and take it and pay in 30 years, something we can actually pay in five years. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, I I, I went very, very crazy with that. I was like, man, let me teach people how to buy a land Mm -hmm. and build a home on it. Do you know that you can actually spend $50,000 and have a house? Wow. A $50,000. And you never have to pay a mortgage in the United States. You don't have to build your house the way it is. Mm-hmm. So most of us, we carry, I mean, when I say most of us, mm-hmm. most of us here in the United States, yes, if you own a home, you probably carry two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar mortgage. 
that you're gonna be, you're gonna be paid for thirty years, and by the time you pay the whole thing, it's gonna be the price of that house times five or six. And most people, either with bad credit or no credit, put thirty percent down on a house, so that thirty percent was enough to buy a land and build a house on it. Well, but we didn't know. Well, we didn't know. That was enough. So when I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish, I wish, I wish a lot of us are paying $2,000, $2,500 to rent a place. Mm -hmm. You know, just two month rent mm -hmm. can buy, can give us a small plot where we can build a house on. 50,000 can give us three bedroom house. It doesn't have to be too nice, yeah. but something to take off with it. And then you can save enough to build your dream home. So today, American dream turned into a nightmare for a lot of us. You know, a lot we have, we are taking send body after body in Africa mm -hmm. because we are maxed out with bill. $3,000 mortgage insurance. They will force you to put certain type of insurance on it. Mm -hmm. They collect that every month, taxes and all that. You work and make $10,000 a month, but you don't have $1,000 left. By the time you pay car note, mortgage, put few around, feed the children, you have nothing left. The same person gonna inverse, save 8,000. Or eighty five hundred only spend fifteen hundred dollars. So that's that's what you are seeing there. Mm -hmm. All those people uh, today, so many people who move their children from university or from the rental property now they live in their home. Uh, some uh, reconverted; they have a property with tenant in it, mm -hmm. so they can cash out four, five, six hundred dollars every month. With nothing zero down, like like uh, like we say, so uh, I, I think it's just a movement. You say something very powerful. You say information is the key. You know what you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. You know. Imagine that we don't know that um, uh, if you drink, let's say I don't know what you can drink. Die. This is something poisonous. That, that is not appropriate and mm -hmm. then you go and dream because you don't know you don't know do you think you're gonna stay in life no no you're gonna die so uh that's why i i really value what you're doing because information will change people information will change people and i know a lot of us you know african we were not born here yeah we jump into a new system mm -hmm. nobody trained us on the system yeah. matter of fact the people that trained us was those that fed already mm -hmm. So you come in somebody with no job, somebody that couldn't even, you know, counsel you back home, mm -hmm. become your guide, your guide here. Mm -hmm. No, go to the warehouse or do this thing that CNA. was the one that's the, the change diapers. To CNA. C yeah, do the CNA or do this. <laughs> you know, people will come to the United States with so much potential, potential. and then turn themselves into something different. Why? Uh, you know, see the same way we was doing back home. Mm -hmm. Any every African build their own home. We didn't walk around and buy a house. Mm -hmm. Why we got here and lose that and think that it's not possible? We didn't even find out if it's possible. If it was possible. So today, I believe one of my mission is to challenge people. I say, I mean, there's so many builders out there. Yeah, there's so many builders. There's so much opportunity. There's so many things we can do as a family. And, and I love Dr. Dr. Eric. Mm, Tango Monkey. Yes. Uh, I mean, every, I, I register on his page. Every time he's happy, yeah. to jump on his farm, farm. grow stuff. And, and I just like to, to call him. Sometimes when you call him, you see life, life. fiber in him. I learned that from you also. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man, this guy is happy. Yeah. I say, what makes him this happy? happy? And why other people are sad? Yep. Because, and he told me one day, I went back to the life that I grew up in. Mm -hmm. I'm close to the nature. I could eat something healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be stressed out. 
locked in a box like somebody that walk in jail. Mm -hmm. Today we are encouraged and challenged our people. You know, we can live on our own terms. Chinese, when they get here, they don't live the, the, the American life the way that it's going to be imposed to them. Mm -hmm. India, no. You know, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the, the, the mission we are on. Well, Challenge people to really, really withdraw back and take it easy and really build the American dream. Yeah. Yes. Really build the American dream. Uh, I was looking at this video. I think one of the events we did, well, it was early this year. Was it like February or March? Um, yeah. In, in the number, I think we had about um, 40 to more people. Now, the question I, I always want to ask is, all these people, most of them from Africa, different countries uh, from Africa. Mm -hmm. And um, the question I want to ask is, we have people over here who are wanting to go invest in Africa. And then we have these people, and, and, and yeah, some of them are wealthy, and some of them are average dudes. Mm -hmm. But then they understand something, probably they watch one of your videos or they watch videos or they learn from somewhere, thinking like, you know what, this is where I want to go put my money. Is there something our community is still not understanding about where to invest and when? Because if I see all of these people travel, take flights and make it monthly, and trusting, look at all and look at all of them trusting and investing and all of that i'm like is this something our people especially our immediate community still don't know uh probably the reason why they feel like you know what i need to go home and make my investment i remember i sh i told you that we think back what yeah <laughs> so people stay tight in their village yeah a lot of people live here and go in a village and build three or four storage uh, buildings yeah. in the village because you know that 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 emotion you know that feeling when there was little in the village is still haunts them now and they they, they are very they, they stick a little confused mm -hmm. about investment why do you invest first of all yeah you know if you have your money to invest first of all you have to think about where it's secure number yeah. one number two you have to put where you can cash out easily yeah number three you want to invest where you have a better return on your investment yeah so today most of these people, even the one with money, they yeah. can come and buy a house, cash, and then let the house become a second person that is working, working for, them. for them. I mean, would you go and buy, would you buy a house in America, put somebody in that can pay you $2,500 a month, or take the same money back home, build a house, and put somebody there that is going to be pay you $400, that is 200000 CFI mm -hmm. per month. And that's somebody that you, you have to pray for them, for them to pay to, you. Yeah. <laughs> if you have one soldier in your house, you're not going to get anything <laughs> for three years. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend. I have a home there. We have a colonel that is living there. Living the colonel there. now, he's paying the guy to leave. The guy said, no, I'm not leaving. There's nothing he can do. Yeah. Nice home. Beautiful home. Wow. The colonel said, he's not, he paid two years to move in. He said, no, I'm going to pay you. He'd been in a house for more than nine months with no payment. Wow. Just, you know, he don't know what to do. Either he needs to go back home, go to court, take him to court, and do all this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Now the guy is complaining that he never fixed the toilet, he never fixed yeah. the roof, he yeah. never fixed it. So now it's fight. So you have your own house, and you have to argue with your tenant and all that. So I, I, I think we have to know where to invest, particularly if you, I'm not saying not to be home mm -hmm. back back home no mm -hmm. i mean i have so many houses back home mm -hmm. um but if you want to invest so that can give you a residual income mm -hmm. so when you cannot take care of yourself your income your money can continue to work for, for you, you for years mm -hmm. you have to make sure you invest in the nation where it's stable and that nation is états unis d'amérique <laughs> <laughs> Even the system, yeah, it's easy. Like, they throw you out and you're still going to pay that money someday, whether you like it or not. Uh, boss, let us look at, uh, I think I have another video I want us to watch. Um, now, one thing one thing I've learned with you is building a team around you. 
Um, and that is one other thing our community, um, we are not big on in our community. You see everyone is trying to do their thing by themselves. For a very long time, I was wanting to do Toile by myself. I'm the, <laughs> the host, I'm the camera guy, I'm the... <laughs> and then sometimes you just look at me and you just laugh and like, Toile, uh, if it's that you don't want to hire persons, I can hire persons for you, and then you just manage them. <laughs> and um, I don't, I don't, for, for a long time, I did not know if I just did not trust people or uh, what was happening. But I want you to throw a little bit of, uh, to just talk to us about why it's important for us as a community to understand uh, it would be difficult for you to do it by yourself. Try to build a team, try to trust the team, they fail but then continue to look for the pro the right people and just continue to build. First of all, num number one is the smallest number. Mm -hmm. So when you want to do by yourself, that means that's what we call one man show. You're yeah. going gonna to fail and you're going to hate what you do because at the point, it's not going to be about money anymore. It's not going to be about service anymore. Yeah. But it's going to be too much on yourself. Yeah. Now, in order to, to work with people, you have to trust people. Yeah. You know, when I look at myself, I know how, you know, I, I mean, I, I still mess up so much. Mm -hmm. So, and somebody trusts me. Somebody look at me, look me in, my, in the eye once in Georgia and, and believe in me. Yeah. You know, uh, bef when John trusts me and hold my hand and start trying me, I didn't look like anything. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we have to believe in other people. Mm -hmm. we, we have to give people a chance. And then even when we give them a chance, we need to give them another chance, chance. and then give them another chance and give them another chance and give wow. them another chance. I remember the day I called Pastor Mark. I said, Pastor Mark, give me somebody that can help me with camera. He said, no, I'll give you this guy. Call this guy. He's a good guy. He's going to help you. That was you. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you show up, I was like, oh, my God. You didn't look like cameraman. Yeah. I was looking for, you know, cameraman people. Yeah, they have to have oh, attitude those, yeah. and all that. I said, this guy. And, you know, I, I just said, okay, let me let me see what's going to come out of this. And then we would do things and next one and next one and next one and next one. And I'm like, man, this guy is a bad boy. He's good. He's great. <laughs> So if it was an interview, I could have never hired you. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to believe in people. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Pastor Mike believe in you so much mm -hmm. and he'll refer you. And then, I, I, I mean, I couldn't judge you mm -hmm. by, you know, what I would see. I so, mean, you didn't come, yeah. with you know, the, cameraman, they yeah. wear this thing. You yeah. see how photographers yeah. have the clothes <laughs> and all those, big beds. All those things, yeah. <laughs> Even the boots <laughs> that go with it, but you didn't have all that. And, and today, you know, look at how beautiful the journey have been. Um, we have to trust people. We have to believe in people. Wow. And and, and then, um, we, we have to be with people. We have to walk with people. Mm -hmm. We have to give people opportunity to mess up mm -hmm. and stay. Give them another opportunity. Give them another opportunity. I never see somebody that. <laughs> Think about this. Let's say, uh, do you have a kid? Yeah. Okay. Imagine it's a boy or girl. Boy. Okay. Imagine you was teaching him how to walk. Yeah. He get up and fall, and then get up and fall. What would you say, man? Keep, forget it. Yeah. Just, just, just crawl. <laughs> forget about this walking <laughs> business. Would you do that? No. No. That's how life is. At the point we're gonna fall before we walk. Mm -hmm. We're gonna crawl before we get up. Yeah. It's just a process. Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 beautiful thing is that at the point we're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. You mess up, you learn from it, and see what you have done wrong, mm -hmm. and then correct the next time. That's walking process. That's yeah. how we learn how to walk. Matter of fact, yeah. you have to fall enough in order to walk. Mm -hmm. Today, if you are walking, would you put your feet in a big hole? No, no. you learn because yeah. you fall before. It doesn't feel good when you step yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you don't put your feet there anymore. But if you never put your feet there, you try again. That's true. That's how life is. That's, that's how business is. Wow. So that's how we develop skill too. Wow. So if you don't trust people, if you don't believe in people, if you don't give them opportunity, wow. you're never going to have a team. You're never going to have a team. No, that's true. 
<laughs> and 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 I learned a, I learned a whole lot from you just by working with you, just by hanging around you. Uh, but the one thing that I'm still trying so hard to learn is patience and tolerance. I've never seen you angry. I've never seen you say, "Oh, I'm never gonna do this with this person." I've never seen you frustrated, like, "Oh, why why are they treating me like this?" I give them everything they wanted. I I like you always. I think the word I use now is solution oriented. That is the word I use nowadays when I talk to other people. Like, hey, you have to be solution oriented. Just it doesn't matter what they do. Just look for how you can fix the problem and just move on. Because at the end of the day, worry is not gonna. Um, is this something you were born with? Oh, is this something that along your journey, because you've been doing business now for more than 25 years. Mm -hmm. So meeting so many people, meet people from different, different communities. Is it like you actually learned that along the way or something you were just born with? Because sometimes for me, I'll even gossip with Francine and be like, nah, mm -hmm. il est né comme ça, donc moi je peux pas être comme No, I think it's all, um, one thing I learned from John C. Maxwell is, one thing he told me during the coaching section, he said, man, if you want to be free, be accountable yeah. for your action wow. and for other people's action. I was like, no, 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 no. He said, yes. When you think somebody is doing you wrong, mm -hmm. you actually become vulnerable. Yeah. When you think you are responsible for the good thing and the bad thing that happened to you, yeah. you're in charge and you can do something about it. When you think that people are doing you, you become vulnerable. Whoa. You become powerless. But the moment you take charge on every good thing, every bad thing that yeah. happened to you, yeah. you have your life under control. Boss, um, Francis Ngannou, Samuel Eto, We've seen you with all these greats, uh, all these wonderful people. And um, for me, nowadays, I'm not even surprised because one of the, let me just say the biggest people I met in my life, I got to meet them through you. And uh, you always introduce them to me in a very, they seem, sometimes you don't even tell me. And then I'll just walk into them and I'm like, oh, is this not this person? Like, yeah, that's the person we came to see. Um, let's start with Fasin Gano. What is the relationship with him? Uh, I mean, he's a he's a great leader. Mm -hmm. uh, outside to be an athlete like me, yeah. um, I know a lot of people don't know that uh, part of me. Um, he, he's a he's a, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. he, he's one of the very very tough guy with the mind that you cannot break. That I, I met. Mm -hmm. um, I used to think that Eto was the the one mm -hmm. because there's something like like now we're amongst ourselves. Yeah, it's easy for you to treat me good, right? Yes. But when you get out of the community, you are with other people. Mm -hmm. You are with people that look at you in your face and say, you know, things that will frustrate you. Yeah. But even though you still stand your ground. Mm -hmm. Uh. Francis Ngannou, uh, I mean, I learned so much from him. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes even myself, I tell him, hey, man, guys, je pense que you need to do this and do this. He said, no, mm -hmm. I'd rather lose everything. Uh, I used to tell him that, mon frère, tu mises avec tout, tout. à tout moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's scary. Um, but I learned so much uh, from him, from his leadership. Mm -hmm. Uh, close to him and also from a distance. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes uh, we, you know, we, we want to preserve ourselves. We want to preserve uh, what we already have. Yes. Uh, and then we settle for less. Mm -hmm. and, and I learned from him, from Francis, he's one of the guys that will stand for the truth. Yeah. He will stand for what is right yeah. uh, for him. And he's ready to lose every, everything. everything. Every time, and he say, hey, "I'll do it. I'll do it again." Mm -hmm. And today, we all the whole world could look and be like, "Man, this is actually the right way." Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, as a leader, you know, you, you have to learn from others, mm -hmm. and and I, I I learned so much from Francine, from from Francis, the the, the his resilience uh, is just amazing. 
we saw a picture of you, um, um, uh, Samuel Ito, uh, Roger Miller. Um, I don't know what title to use when I'm, I'm referring to them. I'll just use their names. Samuel Ito and Roger Miller. I think it was in, uh, uh, where is, is it? California? San Diego. San Diego. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, I, I think I'll try to look for the picture while you're talking to show. Mm -hmm. uh, this picture, you were not just with them, mm -hmm. standing somewhere. It was more like a lunch or breakfast or something. Mm -hmm. You guys were sitting in a table. And when I looked at the picture, I was like, no, this is different level. This is not just some, oh, oh it's going to be a photo. And no, you guys are sitting there. Can you just walk us through your relationship with uh, Eto or Roger Mila? I mean, they, again, they, 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 they're very great people. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are called into a leadership, one of the things you want to do is humble yourself and ask mm -hmm. other that, you know, Roger Mila is one of the very, very great, great leader. Um, Samuel Eto also. Uh, these are guys, these are people that face so many challenges, you know, in other area of life, yeah. you know, in other area of life. So, uh, I mean, I, I learn from them. Mm -hmm. I, I can say that I really, really learn from them. Um, I, I learn from so much from Mila. Um, and, and also, whatever he's here, you know, I, I always like to serve as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I make myself available to, you know, move, move, drive him around, and and then if he need to go somewhere, you know, guide him and all that. Mm -hmm. But it, it's more about service. It's just more about service. Nothing more than that. <laughs> yeah. talk, 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 talk to us about the importance of of uh, being a servant leader. I I know I learned a lot from you for mm -hmm. with that. Uh, but I just want you to talk a little bit on uh, why it's important for us to have uh, to be a servant leader, not even have servant leaders. Uh, I learned from a little slave girl in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the servants of uh, um, what's what's the uh, Naaman, mm -hmm. the slave girl. They didn't even give her name. Yeah, they just call her. Uh, they just say a slave girl. Uh, I I don't know what the slave girl was doing in the bedroom of one of the great warriors, mm -hmm. which is, was Naaman, mm -hmm. and found out that Naaman had leprosy. From that, I was meditating on that small passage in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh. So service mm -hmm. can take you where, you know, as a ser your service can take you where even other king could not get there. get there because think about it other king or other warrior couldn't get, get into that place. place from that day i receive a revelation of service when you serve wow. your service will take you before king and it's gonna even take you where kings cannot go other kings cannot go well wow. only service wow. think about it if it the lady that fixed that come and clean my house, mm -hmm. she can get in my bedroom. Yeah. But you've been to my house so many times, haven't you? Never. <laughs> <You've been to laughs> that. That's the power of service. Wow. That's the power of service. My driver, he can go in my back and look for something. Yeah. How many times have you searched yeah. my back? <laughs> it's a level of service. As a small service will take you to a deeper place. Now, this slave girl was. Actually, look, he saw the, the guy naked. Yeah. Because you have to see somebody naked to see the lips on yeah. the person. Or half naked. Yeah. So, um, that's why, I, you know, I always tell people, serve, serve. Yeah. Service will take you where, even as a king, you cannot get there. Um, so, whatever I have opportunity to serve, I, I just serve. <laughs> I just wow. serve. Oh, God. Uh, that is some good message. Uh, Fingong Tralala. One of the mm -hmm. biggest uh, in our community um, was here, uh, visited Dallas uh, dispensation and um, uh, took him around, uh, visited some lands. Uh, I think Wagzahachi. Yeah. Oh, what? Kan Kangton, Waxahachi, uh, mm -hmm. Foni, uh, 
sulfur spring mm -hmm. and all of these places um i, I think that what i what the question i want to ask you is uh we have celebrities in america and if for me personally because i think i've had this conversation with you if it was just for the 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 the, the, the how can I put it? Um, uh, 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 just for the business, you will just go with the people who can actually just give you the easy money, the bigger money, and all of that. But then, you have this 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 thing where you want to see our people involved, also you want to see our people uh, 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 doing things, uh, 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 getting up there. Uh, I want you to talk to us why you think it's necessary as a community for us to start thinking that way. One on my class with the John, mm -hmm. and that was in Georgia, in Swanee. Mm -hmm. He actually took us to the cemetery. That was my first time walking there like that. Uh, he took us there, and then he said, walk around. We walk around. He said, keep walking around. That was a small group. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, look, pay attention. I was wondering, what, what, do you, what, do, what, what are we looking for? He said, just say, pay attention. And then I, I look, and then we went back into the van. I say, how do you want to be a member? From 1920 to Two. 2005, that small uh, line mm -hmm. is going to be your story. Go in a wall and write your story the way you want to be a member. That day, everything changed in my life. Of course, I want to make money, mm -hmm. but I want to serve. I want to serve. I want an opportunity to serve. I want an opportunity to change other people's life. I say, when any man encounter me, mm -hmm. I want him to go different. I want him to go different. As much as it depends on me. I don't want to see any man die with his gift we are so gifted we are so gifted but sometimes we walk out of this earth without even touch that gift i want to believe in people i want to serve people i want to stand with people for those that doesn't have faith i want them to use my faith I want to be that guy. You know, I hear a story. Um, a guy called, King called a group of village people mm -hmm. and say, well, the person that can swim will marry my daughter because everybody wanted a daughter. He was so wealthy and rich. Mm -hmm. And then the whole village came out. All the guy came. So I, I marry her. I swim. Mm -hmm. And then before they start the competition, the competition, he took little chicken and threw out. One crocodile jump out and smack. <laughs> Everybody, people was trying to go. She said, no, nobody. Man or wrong. <laughs> but before that, they hear, boom. A guy was all between crocodile, up and down, and then come out. They would say, oh, my God. The king <laughs> called him and said, please cry him and all that. He was breathing and breathing and breathing and said, Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, come down. He you said, you won like, already. Ooh. Yeah. And then he said, who push me? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hear this story and then I will share over and over. Sometimes I say, I want to be that person that's going to be pushed people Pushing into people. those kind of places. Yeah. This guy didn't know how much he has. Mm -hmm. He didn't know he could swim among crocodile and mm -hmm. come out in life. Mm -hmm. He didn't know he was a winner. Wow. He didn't know he had what it takes to win. Even after he finished the course, yeah. he still didn't believe in himself. I want to be that guy. So many people don't like that. Yeah. But I rather somebody hit me because I push him in there. I know he's not going to die. Mm -hmm. He's going to come out. Even though when you push some people mm -hmm. they jump and come out and come against the person that pushed them in wow even after mm -hmm. the level of certainty come up nobody was born with the notice of life we went to school they teach us how to read after we're done they say we are smart but the real life 
and a father, since life is so progressive, a father, we cannot just refer back to a father life and say, well, father should also have to form. We mm -hmm. should become farmer too. Mm -hmm. The war is going so fast now. And uh, I believe we, if we don't reframe our mindset mm -hmm. to embrace the new war, it's going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. The war becomes a small village. Very true. A Chinese guy is con is in your village now working. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, if you want to, if you want, you go to the village and see most clothes people are wearing. Mm -hmm. It's coming from China. Yeah. So the guy that have never been into your village, he's making money more in the village mm -hmm. more than you. Mm -hmm. He's serving. The war becomes a small village. We have to embrace in a different way if you want to stay relevant. So, uh, that's why I do what I do. You talked about uh, pushing people and um, I, oh God, guess who is watching? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful one. Shout out to my pastor, my personal person. I call him my dad, Pastor Mark Fondo. Uh, shout out to Don Moen, shout out to Ralph, shout out to Claudine Tui. Uh, Roots, shout out N Natalie Freeman. You're watching. Shout out to you, my sister. Uh, boss Charles Njoya. I think Charles Njoya is one person. I think we've talked about him. Uh, and, uh, and I was hoping when it comes to Dallas, I want you guys to meet another uh, uh, community builder. Another, I was with him in Houston the other day. A uh, wonderful person, also. Same mindset with you. Uh, who, who call me late in the night to just oh, what is happening in the community. What can we do? What like mm -hmm. always, always worrying and um. I really wish he can when when he visits Dallas. I hope you you hope you be around so we can talk or we can even get on the phone. Um, Apostle Miranda is watching. Hey, my boss, my boss, Gustav B at you. Uh, another person also. He's in Houston, Austin. This one is in Austin, but uh, people who um. I think I'm blessed. For me, that's just the thing. Um, and and uh, like you always say. Uh, maybe there's something also about me that makes them feel like, okay, to really, um, let, let's do this. Uh, you talked about investing in people. You talked about Apostle Mark uh, not only investing in me, because for those who didn't know, my, I'll talk about people, for those who they don't even know, I remember when I came here and I was thinking about what to do, he called me one day and it was like, what you the plan for do? I told him, I don't know, for some reason, I really have passion in in cameras and photography and videography and it was like really i see i said okay i know someone who is doing that um i'll call them and you can go learn from them because i did not know anything and he actually called this guy i went there the guy okay played his own small game and then uh and then that was it came back i explained to him and he was like oh maybe the guy wants us to pay i will pay that was when i was like no you don't have to pay i'll learn on my own so just like what you were saying, we really have to, as a community, come together, invest in people, invest again and invest again. Uh, even when they come back to bite us, we look at them smile and then just move on. But I want us to talk, talk to us about one person that I know you've invested. I wish we had those pictures and those videos. It would have really been beautiful. Uh, Guy Betrang. Met, you met him a few years ago. I was there when you met him. And today he's something else. He's on another level. And uh, just talk to uh, us about your relationship with him. Yeah, I mean, b before you, 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 before we talk about Cody Gibetra, mm -hmm. another thing also in life is that, you know, when the glory days come, mm -hmm. we celebrate the glory day, mm -hmm. but we forget actually those who was there yeah. when we were nobody. Body. Um, you, you mentioned Pastor Mike. I remember when I moved to Dallas, mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know who connect us. Maybe one one lady from uh, thing said, "There's this person that you need to." I don't know how he worked actually, but he came to my apartment, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't have a chair. I just have a, I think uh, just a mattress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have a chair, so he stayed up, uh, and I was going to Germany. He took me to the airport, and and I flew to Germany. So there, there are people, and there's a lot of people in that actually impact our life mm -hmm. where you know in a dark moment in a mm -hmm. dark day mm -hmm. uh they, they, they was there mm -hmm. and they was ready to help and they was ready to contribute it uh, I, I just mentioned that just to say that there's so many 
great, great, great leader mm -hmm. in the Camonia community, in Africa community, particularly here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. I cannot mention uh, uh, all of them. Yeah. You know, and they are doing so many things. You know, I always tell people, just like the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus helped so many people. Mm -hmm. But how many came back? If it, with the Lord Jesus, <laughs> one person come, how many do you want to come, come back with you? Yeah. Uh, but we, we, we're we all all grateful. I'm actually writing a book mm -hmm. um, that uh, to, 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 to share the, you know, the, the, the side of my life that nobody sees. See. The, the the time I cry, mm -hmm. the people I cry on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. You know, as a leader, we come and stand and talk. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like we never have a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the disagreement, the the the, the you know, the, the the rough thing that go you now in our body and all mm -hmm. that. Uh, so other leader could understand that. When you are called into a leadership, it doesn't mean that everything is just gonna be going as perfect yeah. as pe yeah. what people see. So, uh, I think I'm gonna. The title of that book is gonna be my hiding thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I, I will be. You know, I'll share so many things uh, in there. Um, leadership is a challenge. It's a mm -hmm. way of uh, challenge. So go back to Coach Gee. Gee, yeah, yeah. Coach Gee is actually. You know, I, I can say that he's one of the person that really believe in my vision. When I carry this journey of leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, and say I, I want to contribute into the kingdom also in a different way, mm -hmm. you know. Because when you find yourself in church, you have five people that can preach very good, mm -hmm. you know. If you can sing, sing. Mm -hmm. If you can sing, do something else. Maybe be a guard of people that mm -hmm. usher people, mm -hmm. you know, clean the the floor, do something else. So uh, I, I I believe, you know. God want me just to, to 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 really 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 touch the people of God, also with this uh, you know the the, the the in the business area, mm -hmm. you know with the capacity of to create well, um, mm -hmm. and and you know to impact people in in a positive way. Wow. Uh, so Coach Gibertron, when I met him, I shared a vision with him. He actually came to one of my seminar mm -hmm. back then when I was doing a lot more seminar. He paid one million. That was wow. one million francs. <laughs> wow. So he paid his one million. And then after the seminar, I was doing mentorship. So he he said, hey, I want to sign up with your mentorship too. So I have been mentoring him uh, for the uh, four years, four or five years now. Mm -hmm. And um, in business, uh, you know, what I do, I share with him. I say, hey, mm -hmm. this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you should do too. Mm -hmm. Um Sometimes we do, it doesn't work. We both mm -hmm. cry together and mm -hmm. then sometimes it works. Mm -hmm. and, and because I always say business is not, it's not a guarantee. It's mm -hmm. not magic, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, today in real estate, he, he owned a couple house here. Mm -hmm. Some of the business I'm doing mm -hmm. back home, the school we are open in different country, the training center. I carry him along as a partner, oh. you know, in also. Mm -hmm. You know, John always said that make sure people that you guys suffer together go oh, grab, go up with them uh if it's not you'll be you find yourself alone Hello. so uh coach k is uh, one of the great 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 helper um very very great helper today uh he run i think maybe over 200 of our team member mm -hmm. you know because I told him I, I need to be free mm -hmm. to, to, to run with the vision, to, mm -hmm. to run with the business. Uh, if we are challenged to touch 2 billion people, I mean, I can't come sit down and babysit mm -hmm. uh, for us to get there. So he's one of the uh, uh, right-hand men, like, like like we say. So he, he really, really helped me with the, um, particularly with the Ali Global and other company. Yeah in the United States and uh, all over Africa as well. Tell us about Island Global. I know a few people who are watching are probably like, okay, what is what is, what is is he talking about? What is Guy doing? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Tell us about Island Global. Yeah, Island Global is just that movement that we launched, uh, how long ago? We, we yes. launched this together. Yeah. Like, what, six years ago? Yeah, six years um, ago. And the, the, the mission is really is to uh, challenge people to operate, to function, Mm -hmm. from the best version mm -hmm. we want to touch two billion people yeah uh in the world uh in the next 20 years um 
and it went back to one of your the question you asked here about why am I invite all these people? Mm -hmm. You know, there's one thing to influence people. When you influence a leader, you mm -hmm. influence the people that follow, follow the, leader. the leader. That's true. So that's where we are now in Ali Global. We deal with the big community leader, mm -hmm. pastor mm -hmm. that also have so many people that have followed them. Mm -hmm. So we impact the hair so the whole body can be impacted as well. Um, so with Ali, we in uh, the few African nations yeah. right now. We we are set in few African nations. We are working with some head of state mm -hmm. and some government aid member and uh, businessmen. So with wow. Ali, we train people, we start business, we fund business, and then we partner also with other business in various country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the questions some persons one someone asked me a question one time and I looked at the man as um I know that is one of the reasons why most people are here uh, are you actually the richest African in the diaspora especially in in America um in one time somebody looked at me and was like Sako if he's really that rich why are you not also a millionaire <laughs> I looked at them and then I laughed I'm like Okay, first of all, find out why he's rich, what he's doing to make his money, and then ask me if I'm interested in doing that. Now, it's not like uh, I'm not looking for money. It's not like, uh, no, but guess what? I feel like deep inside me, I have that passion for what I want to do. I, for me, I feel like that is my calling. That is my, like you just said, people will have to play their role. We cannot have five highly global, highly global. Highly global needs a media team. That is where Doride comes in and gradually we'll build to where we want to build. And then maybe that same person will come and say, oh, uh, at the end of the day, that's the reason why uh, personally this is how I feel. I don't know. I know you're a pastor, mm -hmm. but that is why uh, I feel like that was the reason why Jesus needed to have disciples, people who will go and testify, people who will go and talk about uh, what he did. So the person, whoever person that asked me that question, I look at them as a disciple. Someday they'll be the ones to come out and say, oh, uh, I've, I've known him to every day. I know him. He started from here. He went from here. So just continue paying attention. Now that you know everything is not going. <laughs> but uh, dispensation, we're talking earlier about so this. The, yeah. Let's go back on the question you asked. Yeah. Who says that I was the richest yeah, yeah. person? I was go I was, you, you were going to, uh, who said that? Yes. Uh, so many people. Personally, I know you probably the richest. I've been close to you. Okay. So I, I thank you that you set the record so straight. Uh -huh. You said it. Other, yeah. other people said it. So I didn't say it. <laughs> ah, this is this is a thing. Most so of them will never have to have their, their own opinion. Um, I mean, if you guys say that, and most of them will never accept, guys. If, most of this work they'll never accept. <laughs> if it, if it, if you you guys say that and inspire people, that's mm -hmm. good. If mm -hmm. it help people, mm -hmm. that's good. Um. But I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. um, I I I have um, one on the newspaper that called me last time, and they say, "Oh, we want to write article on you." I say, "What is for?" They say, mm -hmm. "We want to write about your wealth." I say, "Which wealth?" Mm -hmm. I say, "Which one?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I, I would celebrate people are impact. Mm -hmm. You don't measure a, a tree. How do you measure the tree? By the fruit that I produce Producing. in for other people, other people, not for the tree. Wow. So um, please, <clears throat> let's meet in. Uh, we have about sixteen years more to mm -hmm. go. When we'll be presented the two billion people we impacted and when they have become, mm -hmm. I'm more interested in what the impact I could make in other people's life. Yeah. More than what is in the life. <laughs> your life. What does it matter? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? So when I come sit here today, this is your studio. Mm -hmm. Now you you ask me to come to the studio. I used to ask you to come, come to the on. office. <laughs> <laughs> I can celebrate that one because um I, I feel like I have been part of something that is grown mm -hmm. that I can sit here today or I can be on my phone today. Come on, I'm watching. Young people are here. I'm listening to the gospel here yeah. and all that. I mean, that's what I can celebrate it. Yeah. Uh, because I, I believe it's part of my fruit also. Mm -hmm. But what I become, that's have no importance. Mm -hmm. The fruit I can produce is more important than who I become. So 
next time, if it will reverse mm-hmm. <laughs> and say, let's impact more people and, mm-hmm. you know, just impact more people. Mm-hmm. I will be more satisfied. I can even wow. uh, be more fulfilled mm-hmm. when we get to that 2 billion people that we're going to touch um, more than what, you know, I will become. It doesn't matter. It's just me. It's just one person. I say number one is the worst number. So when you celebrate one, mm-hmm. it, you celebrate the wrong way. Mm-hmm. So as we impact people, you share what you want to do here. Mm-hmm. This channel is going to be going 24-7. Yeah. 20 people is going to be here. Mm-hmm. Every day shows are going to be gone. People, life going to be impacted. Those are things I want to hear. Those are things we want to celebrate. Sure, Those are things when I sit back on my old man mm-hmm. sofa, I can be proud. I can mm-hmm. say, man, I know this guy. Mm-hmm. I remember when he was coming to my office, mm-hmm. if I can say that about two billion people, people, I'll be the happiest man. Guys, and, and <laughs> you just pointed out something that made me feel so... We are actually the ones, people, not only me, so many other people, <laughs> probably because we're around you and maybe, um, I think the definition of world is different for people. That is what I just learned right now. Uh, some people look at world, uh, especially coming from where we're coming from, we feel world is money, cars, land, and all of this stuff. These are good things. But at the end of the day, like you said, what, do, what, what, what would you gain if you have all these things and you don't impact uh, people who are going to impact others and impact others? Now I know why you continue to keep me around you because <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, dispensation, uh, I want us to talk uh, because we'll close uh, very soon. I want us to just uh, throw a little bit of, uh, tell us what uh, dis- dispensation is all about. Uh, dispensation, first of all, we are uh, investment fund. Mm-hmm. Uh, we help people acquire real estate. Mm-hmm. Um, so when your bank say no, we can say yes. Um, matter of fact, we don't care about your credit. If you, you can prove the income, mm-hmm. we can uh, purchase property for you all over Texas. Texas is the first market. Mm-hmm. Now, we can look at in other market as well mm-hmm. we have some of the home also in that we sell on owner finance so mm-hmm. we don't need to go to the bank mm-hmm. so if you are there rent it i tell people stop renting purchase the home. home pay the mortgage is better than rent it mm-hmm. maybe the day you move out if the house is upside down it's okay mm-hmm. walk away but if it's not cash out something and walk away with it mm-hmm. don't make a mistake i make mm-hmm. i rent in atlanta for a long, long, long time. I mean, I've been in this country for 24 years. I have some of my friends that have been here for 40. They still rent. So own the property. Own the property. Be courageous. Take a risk and own it. I mean, it's not even a risk. You pay uh, rent or mortgage every month, right? Mm-hmm. So everybody's paying. Yeah. Why don't you own it? You know, churches, own it. Warehouse, business, own it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I mean... Sometimes it's just good to get out of your area and go around other people. Mm-hmm. When I'm around my Chinese and Indian friend, when they hear that you have a business and you are paying rent, they say, why? Mm-hmm. Why don't you turn into mortgage? Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. But the good thing is that after you can recast that, even small Chinese children, when they come here to go to school, yeah. they come together like five, mm-hmm. buy a mansion, mm-hmm. and sit and pay for dorm, $1,000 every month. Five of them use a the room and pay for that mentor, $5,000 a month. When they finish the school after five years, they sell that and that's a cash to take off with, the, with, with their life. So, uh, dispensation is just one of the vehicles to solve this problem. Uh, mm-hmm. we, we have a lot of property also and land that we sell on owner finance. All our home is on owner finance. But also... If you find a home, we can finance that for you. So we can actually buy and buy the house and you mm-hmm. pay us back in 30 years. And our interest rate is one digit. Wow. One digit. We better the, the bank now. <laughs> <laughs> People used to say that, oh, that's too high. Now the bank is, some banks are going to, if it's an investment property, they are do 12%. And then we stay on one digit. Is, is there any advantage working with someone? Because that's one other thing I'm big on. Is there any advantage working with someone who comes from the same community as you? And so, for, I mean, like for people who are interested, mm-hmm. do they have any, maybe some f- advantages working with someone like you who understands their struggle, who understands their responsibility and, and all of that? Or it's just the same, 
it's a level fee for whether they no, come. No, no, that's a difference. Mm -hmm. When a guy come to me mm -hmm. and say, "Well, I want to buy this small salon," mm -hmm. they are selling it to me for one hundred and ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Loan me one hundred and ten thousand dollars to buy it. Mm -hmm. I can pay you nine hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. until I pay you off. Mm -hmm. I know that they can make money with salon, mm -hmm. but when you tell maybe another person or Caucasian or Chinese guy, mm -hmm. he doesn't know that you can bring here and make it. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. So I believe there's also a benefit with that. Uh, mm -hmm. There's an advantage with that. Uh, we understand our people mm -hmm. more than the marketplace. You go to wow. the bank, they run your social, mm -hmm. they read everything with that. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a guy that was buying a small sh mechanic shop. He actually came to me. That was very cheap mm -hmm. place in Austin. Mm -hmm. Very run there, mechanic shop. They were selling to him for 35000 mm -hmm. I know this guy could make money to mm -hmm. pay that back. So I didn't have to go back and forth with it. Mm, no. He just got in this country. The guy was from Nigeria. He didn't have any paper. Mm. He was going around fixing car. I know this guy could pay that quick. Matter of fact, that was a that was a, I think that was six year uh, six year long. Mm -hmm. The guy paid me back within two years. Wow, within two years. So a bank couldn't give him this type of loan, no. you know, because they, they don't understand. They will say, well, you don't have a history. You don't have this. You don't have that. So mm -hmm. I believe there's advantage. Amongst Chinese, among Indian, mm -hmm. among all these people, they know the type of business that work. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when you, you, you listen to the history of um, the guy that owned Alibaba, mm -hmm. that's how he got financed through his community first mm -hmm. because they understood there was the need for that product, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the country. So... Chinese was making so much stuff and that was so cheap. They mm -hmm. said, well, if we can find a bridge to sell this stuff to the Western, mm -hmm. particularly in America, we're going to make a killing and it's going to be cheaper for the American and it's going to be winning Christmas for us. And he knew, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, his people knew that that was opportunity. That's why they funded the, the, the deal. So, some of the deal we do, we understand better. Let's say, for example, somebody want to bring um, food from Africa and sell here. Mm -hmm. I know how people buy it. Mm -hmm. But if you go and talk to the bank, no bank, investment bank will give you loan for that, for example. So I think it's still a strong benefit. You know, the, the community, uh, like just these people, I qualify mm -hmm. a lot of them that, some of them, they don't have a social security number. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you don't need a social security number to purchase property in America. Somebody asked me once, do you, I mean, I want to buy a car. I don't have a social security number. I said, you don't need it. Now, if you go to the bank to get a loan, you would need one. You know, that's how the system is set. Mm -hmm. If you walk into the house that they are selling and say, hey, this is my name. That's your check. He'll take the check. And the title, or the title company is going to close the transaction and it's yours. Yeah. Well. So, uh, well, so the other question I was going to ask you is, um, we know you, your dispensation is doing something in uh, Congo right now with real estate. And, um, I, I don't know how it works. Is it like people from here actually investing in Africa, building homes and all of that, or you're actually just building the homes and, and selling or how, how, how does it work? Uh, the project we actually carry in Congo, mm -hmm. uh, the 10,000 home in mm -hmm. the city called Sele by the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually the same program. We build a home, we sell it, and we finance it mm -hmm. 30 years. Uh, but most people pay quick. <laughs> uh, so it's, um, we have few investors that are American. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some partner in the, in the deal that are also Indian. Mm -hmm. um, so is it's, it's, it's a, again it's a it's a private fund fund mm -hmm. uh, we build and we resell it people can purchase and pay gradually for for up to 30 years also and mm -hmm. there's uh, interest free and they can pay off anytime and there's a fixed interest as well oh. mm -hmm. but boss um okay this should be my last question. I have so many questions. I feel like we can go, but now it's already one hour, 30 minutes. I feel like this should be the last question. I want you to talk to your people. I want you to talk to our community. 
I want you to speak to their minds. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's um, uh, it's uh, December. Uh, what do you think we should start doing differently now to get us into 2024 mm-hmm. and make 2024 a better year for us? First of all, we have to do something different, mm-hmm. everything different. Mm-hmm. Because what we have been doing up to now brought us here. Mm-hmm. And if we keep doing that, it's not going to take us to the next level. Wow. It's as simple as that. Wow. You know, one of the areas that kill gift and talent is yeah. a comfort zone. Wow. And we all need a comfort zone to rest. But if you want to grow, yeah. you have to put yourself under pressure. Yeah. You have to put yourself under pressure. You have to challenge yourself every day. You have to do more than what you did yesterday. You have to refuse your, to be comfortable. Only pressure can bring different results. Whoa. Knowledge is power. But if you know you don't apply, Whoa. it's just going to confuse you. So I, I believe we have to be so intentional. And we always have to put ourselves, you know, challenge and re-question what we did yesterday. Yeah. So I, I used to I used to hate people that challenge the idea, that want to think differently. Mm-hmm. But it's the way. Look at where the war is going today. Mm-hmm. We can't keep doing the same thing and expect different. to have a different result. So we, I, I believe we have to embrace and be okay and comfortable with the change and then with the challenge. It's only under pressure wow. that we can grow. Yeah. That's why sometimes crisis make people go from one stage to another okay. one. <laughs> yeah. When people go through crisis, crisis, they will go from one stage Station. to another one. Yeah. Very true. I had and then they will even be shocked. Like, oh my God. I, look at how far I went. Okay, yeah. Because of the crisis. Because of the pressure. Yeah. I, w- I was actually telling someone, it's a bad thing that is happening in that part of Cameroon. But at the end of the day, I had too many... Friends, I was encouraging them to leave Kumba mm-hmm. and go to Douala where their talent can be valued. And they were like, oh, no, I'm staying in Kumba. And when, when the crisis came, it got rough. They took off. They went to, and they did not have any money. They called me. I did not have any money. But they went there, stayed. Today, all of them are celebrities. All of them are huge. Yep. Look, uh, I, I was shared with, the, on the same note, I was shared with a friend. He said, man, Baminda, Kumba, the Anglo Fosun will never be the same. See. Because uh, the system destroy. I say you are fool. Fool, yeah. This something, something that, I mean, these people, mm-hmm. nothing can stop them again. Yeah. Because they was pushed under pressure. Sure. Now they all blown. Yeah. Go look in Bafusam, yeah. Duala Yaounde. Yeah. It's just like the whole Cameroon now is bilingual now. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. And school. Bilingual school yeah. everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. So I, I was telling a guy that give us ten years. Yeah, you would think that Yaounde is Baminda now. Yeah, uh, and all that. Why? Yeah. yeah, because of pressure. Yeah, pressure build, pressure build anything. If you need gold, you need diamond. They go under pressure. pressure. So now, if we start applying that in onto our life, mm-hmm. imagine the type of result we will have. Okay. I was I, I asked uh, Francis Francis. What's the best way to train? He he said, Raph, training is a fight, but you don't win. Because when you train, you get punched, you get punched, you mm-hmm. get punched, you get punched. Mm-hmm. If you can withstand that punch, punch. for a longer hour, yeah. the day of the fight, the guy's not going to take you down. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh. He said, yeah, that's it. It's not about punching another mm-hmm. one. No, no, no. The winner is a person that can take the most punch. Mm-hmm. It's not the what guy that throw the most punch. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow. And I wrapped that back into the business. I was like, if I can be more resilient, really? if I can stand, if I can hold my ground longer, mm-hmm. I will win. And that's the same thing that happened. Well, I remember back w- home. when you called me today, that was, I think one of the things you said, you said to read the consistency, uh, just continue moving. Um, now, someone asked a question. I think I should just play this video to explain. Uh, I'll probably answer the question. Um, 
if you look at that video for the person who asked the question of is it possible for someone to invest from the uk uh, without residing in the us yes that's a video of you know that guy that's kofi olomide um uh that's kofi olomide he was here a few a few weeks ago came here uh for dispensation saw the wonderful project uh they're doing and they decided to visit dallas and uh, he ended up uh, unfortunately i did not i did not get the video the pictures of the house he bought but it's all uh, uh, just just go, just google or go on facebook and just hide coffee olomide buys a house in dallas you have 1000 videos all over the internet so yeah he was here bought a property a beautiful property from dispensation and uh, very very fine property so imagine somebody who is from congo uh lives in either congo or france or belgium uh now you might think okay that's kofi olomide he's international no it's the same for everyone i can actually play you another video uh oh, let me first of all so that's kofi olomide you guys look at all of that um yeah he came in from 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 out of the united states and uh, purchased this wonderful property uh i think i can play you another video of um let me see just give me one second oh one second one second one second i can play you another video of a group of uh individuals who came here um a few months ago yeah they came here a few months ago most of them are from congo uh yeah if you look at this video um if you look at this video uh it, it's 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 mostly people from out of the country uh we saw Guy Betrang there he lives in Europe um has a property right here and uh rental property and all that. look at all of these guys most of them some of them are from Congo some of them are from Cameroon some of them other countries Gabon and and other like uh and, and these people are actually purchasing property uh all over the united states um this was actually when they were the, all of these guys they were visiting the site uh whether it's land whether it's houses whether i, I don't know just contact uh, a dispensation and uh talk to them i think they'll they'll answer your question in a far more better way i just wanted to play these videos so you can have an idea of this is not just something we are talking about this is something we have had people already and it's not just it, it's been going on since last year we started i think late last year about three, I mean, I mean inviting for the people who are coming yes yeah so people have been coming from africa who have properties here they go to the embassy from uk too from uk we too have a lot of clients from UK. okay so mm -hmm. I, I think it's 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 something you want to say something um, uh, coach no that's uh mm -hmm. i think we have contact for our office mm -hmm. uh we 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 have a very big team mm -hmm. and for those that are here in the united states we do um Every Saturday we have side visit. Mm -hmm. um, they can always come. Mm -hmm. um, we have side visit on Saturday, so they can reach out to the team, mm -hmm. and then they can do a side visit on Saturday during the week too. Mm -hmm. uh, by appointment, uh, we do. We have a serial mm -hmm. that is, uh, uh, you know, one of the coordinator that take people on the site even mm -hmm. on the on the week. So during the week, during the weekend, if you live in the United States, mm -hmm. come out and just see what we are doing, uh, take a check some of our houses, check some of our property, and then find out the term. I mean, it's so great. Uh, you know, it's very, very great. I think some of the pastor too should uh, get the retreat place. Uh, mm -hmm. Today we, we are able to, you know, to help uh, either secure the land mm -hmm. and uh, with a very, 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 very low interest rate, uh, we know the church can, can do it. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, we we have a church in Congo that purchased 10,000 10, acres from us. We have another wow. church that purchased 1,000 acres. Uh, I, I know they're mega churches uh, with mm -hmm. over 15, 16 million members. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're in Texas also, you're looking for a retreat place a little bit out, you know, 10, 20 acre, reach out so we can, um, you know, we, we can talk. I, I like to... Anytime when the church do something, I mean, I, I'm excited mm -hmm. because I feel like I, I'm, I'm, I'm serve a visionary oh. under the vision that God entrusted into you, your hand. Okay, someone was asking for the, the contact, the phone number. Let me just pin that to the video. 
dispensation phone number should be a lot. Four six nine seven two zero sixty ninety three sixty ninety three. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that is the phone number. Four six nine seven two zero sixty ninety three. Uh, you can go ahead and contact uh, Dispensation Investment Group. Um, that is not his personal contact information. But then if you reach out to Dispensation, if you had any questions, maybe they can redirect you. Also, the website is eyelidglobal.com. Uh, uh, dispensation, uh, I think the website also is Dispensation. Yeah, dispensationinvestmentgroup.com. Yeah, so it's just easy nowadays. Um, you You just put the name. And then you go ahead and but that's the phone number. Reach out to them. I think we've had a beautiful conversation. Um, we'll try to bring him on here from time to time. Uh, if you ask me, I want him here every week. But we can try to do once every quarter, once every three months. Uh, and then what we'll do next is we'll actually reach out to the community and have them send in their questions, whether it's for land, whether it's for uh, community building um, 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 and, and all of that, and just have him answer uh, other times we'll bring him here. We'll, we'll have him on here with other people. I want to see you sit down with Apostle Mark and then just have conversations. In I think it would be a beautiful idea. But um, any last words? Uh, just uh, you know, I think all those that took time to you know spend this time with us mm -hmm. and all the great great leader in the DFW. Mm -hmm. um, I'm one of the fan of Tory Day. Uh, sometime when the notification go on, my children will bring the Fun to me and say Tory Day is on. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's just fun. We, we, you know, iron shop in iron, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I love the mindset of the community. Now mm -hmm. uh, we we decide to become a givers. We mm -hmm. give the knowledge, give the the connection, uh, mm -hmm. give everything we can give. Uh, so uh, it's just a blessing. So I thank everybody. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and share the video. Share the video with someone who you intend to bless. Uh, we are tired of sharing material stuff. Now, uh, this is Christmas. This is uh, end of the year. We don't even focus on Christmas. It's the end of the year, the start of a new year. You want to send a present to someone that can help change their life. Uh, these are the type of things you want to share. We are investing a lot, especially people like him and Pastor Mark. And also many people wonder like, okay, to really, how do you do with the bills and this and this and that? And that's because I have people like him and Pastor Mark and Carlos and all of them that understood the vision from day one. And they are there every now and then to make sure it continues to not only survive, but continue to impact people. Uh, we want to build a better community. No better way, no other way to do that than share information like this. You want to contact him, uh, go to eyelidglobal.com. Just go there to just check what they are doing. Trust me, it will be a blessing to you. We did not even say anything about Eyelid Global, the beautiful work they're doing in Africa, the beautiful work they're doing even in America. You understand? We talked, I, I, normally today, I just wanted us to, I just wanted to go through our years. And uh, if I tell you that we've spoken about, we've not even touched 5%. That is how big, that's how huge it is. Uh, but how can we continue to impact the community? Share messages like this. Share videos like this. Uh, tell people about what he's doing. Tell people about what Ali Global is doing. Tell people about what, what other people are doing. If you know any person who wants to come on to read it to share, let us know. Uh, it's open. We have a seat. We can add another seat. Let's just have conversations that can continue to beat us. Until then, ah, this was a beautiful one. Thank you, guys. And uh, see you. By the way, tomorrow we are having Gustav, uh, another very, very wonderful person. Uh, you want to watch. Uh, you want to watch. Um, uh, we are praying. 2024 to really might be a 24-hour channel. <laughs>